So we're just getting the fire started to make our curry crab. You're gonna do it outside, yard style. Welcome back to How We Rose Cook. My name is Marceline and today we're gonna be making some Jamaican style curry crab. I've been longing for this. My sister sent a small parcel of crab from Cayman for me and I just received it. So thank you so much, Tarsi and Banhan. I love you and I am so grateful. I'm gonna prepare all my ingredients and then I'll come right back. So if you're watching from Westmoreland, you know when we're cooking our crab, we always put mango, green mango in there. But um, these are not really green, green, but I'm gonna use a piece of this. I'm gonna chop up some scallion, onion, scotch bunny pepper, of course, and some garlic. We're also gonna add some spice. So right here I have some scallion, all chopped up, scotch bunny pepper, garlic, and onion. So as you can see, she um she already scrubbed the crab. They are nice and clean. But in order for the juice and all the flavor to go inside the shell, we're gonna crack them. All right. Just crack it a little. Or if, if these are big, you can cut them in two. Even these parts, I like to just give it a little, you know, so that some curry juice can flow through there. Just gonna go ahead and add some crushed pimento. Gonna add some seasoning. I'm gonna add a little masala, not too much. I'm gonna add most of the curry in the oil, but I'm gonna add some on the crab as well. Onion, scallion, pepper, garlic. I'm going to also add some dry herbs on it. And just a little salt. this ready we're going outside to cook it and so she also send this with the crab you know when you're cooking curry crab in jamaica the fat uses and it gives it a nice gravy so we're gonna put this in there as well but not yet so my pot is hot and ready i'm gonna add some oil so my mother roast potato for yourself and she'll put one for roast for me is all right i'm gonna add some curry in the oil I'm just releasing some flavors from the curry. I don't want it to burn and turn black, so I kind of tilt it off the heat a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and add my crab just gonna add in all my crab in there. this I want to rinse this out add a little water in here not a lot as yet So I just realized that I didn't cut off all the tips from all the claws. So I took them back out, especially those big ones, and cut them. Like this, you can see that? You have to chop off this part so that the curry sauce can get to go up in there. And I had forgotten to chop off some of them, so I just took them out and cut them off real quick. This is smell like we can eat it already. I'm not telling a lie. Full of flavor. I'm going to just cover it down and make it go and cook in its own liquid. So we're just going to make it go and bunjo down. A bunjo? We're just going to always say bunjo. Make it go and bunjo. 
in its own liquid until we're ready to add the water. You understand how you roast one potato? <laughs> Imagine that. Ooh. Right over there. You know, can't cut now. My girl. You know, see. If I there, I'm out. Guys, cooking outside is not for the week. No, not for the week and faint hearted. <laughs> I'm a same best girl, so I'm used to it. I'm used to blowing wood fire and smoke. Um, I was born in St. Elizabeth. It's been 15 years. Yeah, I left St. Elizabeth when I was 15 to live in Westmoreland. So, even Westmoreland, we'll cook outside too. Even when my grandmother had um the tall cylinder full of gas, mm -mm. food cook outside save the guests when we have visitors i guess but the food nice at all i don't know i'm a fuzzier smell of smoke mm, smell good all right we're gonna throw some water on it now <laughs> oh my god Yes, distract me now. One of the crab to drop out of the pot. <laughs> no, my, yes, when Westmoreland people are cooked, them showed peace for the duffy. Coolie people, them showed peace for them ancestors. So I guess that's what just happened. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add the fat. And I also have the mango in there as well. Remember, the mango was on the freezer. It's not that green, but we're going to let it work. All right, gonna add in all the fat, add in the mango. So I just give it like a minute with the fat. I know I'm gonna add some water from my kettle, some hot water. Mm -mm. Smell good. So after adding all the water, I'm gonna add the remaining scallion, thyme. Scotch bonnet pepper, garlic. Mm -hmm. Just let it cook down. Also, I want to make sure that you taste your pot so that in case I need to add anything. I think this is perfect though. Smell really, really good. man pot ready let make this cook down a little bit more and we're good to go this is what the curry should look like when you're doing the curry club see all of that i will just taste one of the two guys oh my god has the perfect spice the perfect flavor everything is just right See that? Time to take it off because I don't want all of that good left to dry out. Yeah. Nice and ready. So I took out the crab just to show you what your sauce should look like. All those seasoning and herbs. Look at that. And it has the right amount of pepper, right amount of spice. Yeah, take it off now and go eat it with some rice. This is gonna be my plate. Yes, I'm gonna eat this all. And normally when I'm eating it, I eat all the rice first and then I enjoy the crab. Sometimes when my mother is cooking this, she does add pumpkin in hers, but I didn't add any in mine, just the For fat the alone. Claws, you might need this to help you crack it. Or I don't know if you're an old veteran, <laughs> you don't need it, but it's very important in case you don't want to damage your teeth. All right, so let so me plate them, put some gravy on my rice. So, yes, guys. All right, so if you're a real crab and rice eater, you know that they use spoon, right? No fork. <laughs> Please don't judge me, guys. I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with a friend. And stay safe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.